Okay, welcome to the Crow Show. Um, I wanted to get all five hologram wave clips in uh, one clip here and uh, address a few of the things that people have been asking for. You can pause on this frame. Um, these are clips that contain a lot more information about the hologram waves like UFOs, UFO shadows, um, the energy pulse, and some other things are broken down really well in these clips, which I do not cover over and over. Um, a lot of people have been interested in knowing the timing of the waves, which I have never done before. So in this clip, I take the time to break down the time of each event as a whole from start to finish. And I also time out each wave independently. And uh, I did this by frames, which is actually a very accurate way to do this, and converted to seconds, which means I actually have fractions of sec seconds. So it's a, it's a pretty good way to do this if you really want to be spot on. Also, um, I'm going to take one more poke at trying to underscore the importance of the initial 2012 filming of the first lunar wave event. Um, it's groundbreaking. It's an important clip. It's the most important thing I've ever filmed. So anyhow, here we go in order, all five wave events. This is frame, uh, event number one filmed in uh, 2012. The total event time is 16.39 seconds. The first wave lasts 9 seconds, and the second wave lasts 6 seconds. Um, this was filmed right after the fall equinox in 2012, and this is easily the most important clip that I have ever filmed, and at the end I will break down why. Um, and here comes the event now. It's going to come from the bottom. There the wave starts. It goes out of frame, catches up to the camera. And you can really tell, and I'll break down this, this down better at the end, um, this wave bulges and it does not stay straight anywhere, any time that it's in frame. And I'll put a grid up to help try to show this at the end. Here's the second wave event. Film March 9, 2014 at 11.47 p.m. The total event time is 10 seconds, or 10.11 seconds. The first wave lasts 5.2 seconds, um, and the second 3.05 seconds. Um, this event is a bit different. There are two. Uh, the second filming and the fourth filming, they feel different to me. They don't feel 3D. They feel flat, and I'll get into that more later. Here comes the event from the upper left. Um, there's kind of the disturbance that we see. There's the subtle wave going down now, and it'll be followed by another one. And again, this one feels different than all the other filmings. Well, two and four do. Here comes the third wave event. It was filmed on March 14, 2014 at 9.33 p.m. The total event time lasts 5.11 seconds. The first wave lasts for 2.02 seconds, the second wave for 2.02 seconds. So um, the two waves actually last identical amounts of time, um, which now that I'm looking at the math, it doesn't quite add up right, but you've got to understand, I'm coming as close as I can measuring frame by frame. Here it comes from the top. Oh, I guess we got a ways in here, I see my marker. Um, on this clip, you'll notice on the best waves, the moon is nearly full or fully lit. Um, on the two that just feel different to me, they feel flat. They don't feel like they're wrapping around the moon like the other three filmings do. Um, anyhow, here, here we come up to the event. And it's going to come from the top right about now. There's the first wave. And you really get a sense that it's wrapping around the moon and it does have a bulge in it. Here comes the fourth filmed wave, filmed on March 14, 2014 at 9.39. The total event time is 5.09 seconds. The first wave time is 1.15 seconds, and the second wave time is 2.05 seconds. Um, and if they don't add up exactly, it's because when I'm counting frames, um, it's very difficult to see when these waves actually start and end. So I'm coming as close as I can. <clears throat> and in this clip again you'll notice that it's fully lit and here it comes from the upper left and here comes the second wave now much much quicker wave 
much clearer wave, very difficult to see when it's paused or when you freeze frame to try to measure. Okay, here comes the fifth and final wave filmed on April 14, 2014 at 1046. The total event time is 11.09 seconds. The first wave time is 5.09 seconds and the second wave time is 6 seconds. Um, this is a very quick and clear wave as well. Um, but when you carefully examine it, uh, it does have that kind of wrapping feeling. It's just much quicker and much clearer, so it's difficult to detect. Okay, here it comes from the top. And there comes the first wave from the upper right going to the lower left. And here comes the other one. All right, so now we're going to break down the most important wave clip. Uh, without this clip, none of this would have been possible. Now, what I'm going to do is demonstrate the pulsing effect on the bottom here. First, I'm going to run it through with this filter on it because it really helps you see it. You can notice the bulge in the wave. You can notice how the edges catch up as it goes over the curve of the moon. And then at the end of this clip, I'm going to break down. I'm going to go forwards and backwards to show the pulse. You can literally see the curving lines down in the lower left here. Watch. Okay, here it comes. There's a pulse. See those pulse lines as they curve around the moon? They, that pulse wave hits at the same time that the wave begins at the bottom. Now I'm going to forwards and reverse because there's a sweep that goes across the bottom part of the moon. It's kind of difficult to see here. I don't know how well it will encode. Um, and then here we go, just a regular run at 50% speed. You can see the sweep across the bottom really well there. Now, this wave is absolutely, no doubt in my mind, wrapping around the moon. Um, I've looked at it for probably hundreds of hours. Many people have examined this clip. Um, okay, there's a grid up, and the reason I put the grid here is I tilted it at 3.2 degrees, which is roughly the tilt of that wave, and you can kind of see how it bulges and curves, and it's never really flat or straight anywhere in its run. This is a good view to notice that. It's 150% speed to exaggerate the effect. And then I'm going to slow it down here and just run in real time with the grid up. And here we go again. Goes out of frame, catches up. And after it goes across the equator, you can really get a sense of the bulging and curving around a sphere, which is, I'm convinced, exactly what it's doing. Now I'm going to address, you know, part of this clip that gets overlooked. Um, it's been vetted for hundreds of hours. There have been aeronautical engineers, camera repair guys, um, photographic experts, a physicist, um, the list goes on and on and on. The evidence that I'm going to show you here, uh, it's bulletproof, and here it comes. There's the wave. It goes out of frame. Now, there is no argument that it could be equipment. It just, it's not possible. Here it comes back in frame, and I'm going to show it one last time. This proves that it cannot be equipment. There the wave starts. The camera pans above the wave. The wave catches up. Uh, this is a filmed event, and it's really not arguable. And if it's true of this clip, then we have to consider all the other clips that I've filmed uh, by this measuring rod. Um, you know, we don't have the same proof because I'm not panning on those, but the point is, is we filmed this event, and uh, it demonstrates something. And knowing this, um, I would say at least three out of the five clips that I have filmed show very, ha they have a commonality. Um, there's similar attributes to three of the five clips. Now the other two, I don't know what to think about them. Um, they're very flat. They don't feel like they're curving. Uh, they're very fast. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on with them. And to be honest with you, they're so clear and so quick, they're very hard to analyze. But having said that, we have the 2012 clip. Um, it shows an event. It shows technology wrapping around the moon. Now, whether or not this is a hologram, you know, that's my best guess. It's what I can wrap my head around. Um, maybe it's something entirely different. 
but there is no doubt in my mind that we are looking at technology wrapping around the moon in the 2012 clip, which means these other four filmings have to be considered knowing what we know about that clip. So there it is. Cheers.